guys, we are here outside of the Endless Summers Dockside Inn and Suites at the Universal Orlando Resort. And in today's video, we're gonna give you a review of this hotel. We're also gonna give you a little tour, take you around, show you everything you need to know. Let's head on in. So one of the great things about the Endless Summer Resorts is they are the most affordable hotels over here at the Universal Orlando Resort but they don't lack on accommodations. There is so much to see and do in both of these hotels and we're excited to get on in here. Once you get to your hotel, the first thing you have to do is get checked in. And there are actually two separate check-in lines here. The one directly behind me with all of the people in it is just your standard hotel check-in. But then there's one over to this side that is the Mobile Express. To do that, you should get an email the night before your stay begins and you can check in online so you don't have to wait in that horrendous line. When you check in, your room may or may not be ready. And if it's not ready, thankfully they have luggage services that can hold your bags while you wait. They also have a ticketing counter over here where you can purchase tickets to the Universal Orlando Resort, or if you already purchased your tickets ahead of time, you can pick yours up over there. This is one of our favorite perks about staying on site at one of Universal's hotels. You can pick up a lot of things here. So Anna mentioned the tickets, but also you can upgrade annual passes. You can get or pick up annual passes there. Also, if you come down for like HHN or any of the special events, you can get all of those tickets at this desk. Yeah, and it's a really big perk because you can also do all of these things out in front of the parks, but the lines are going to be a lot longer than they are here in your hotel. So if you do it in the hotel, you're gonna save yourself so much time. So we're actually staying here tonight and we did have to use luggage services because we checked in earlier and our room wasn't ready, which is pretty, pretty normal yeah. um, but before we head up to the room we do want to show you around the lobby and show you some of the other amenities that they offer here so one thing that most I think I shouldn't even say most I think all of the hotels have is a Universal Studio store <laughs> so if there's a souvenir or something that you didn't get in the parks it's a there's a good chance they're gonna have it inside of here like as you can see right here they do have a small selection of wands you can get your robes they might not have every size so there might be some things that you do have to still get in the parks but all your harry potter merch is over here for the most part i don't see like any of the candy right now do you uh there is some to your left so they do have the candy i'm just blind anna is happy <laughs> and i'm blind all of the hotels also have like resort specific merch. So here you can see some of the endless summer stuff. It's actually pretty cute. I don't think I've seen any of this stuff before. And I know we've mentioned this before, but something that everywhere at Universal has is a Starbucks. And it really doesn't matter what time you come here, there's going to be a line. So if you walk into the lobby and you turn left, they do have the Sunset Lounge over here, which Ooh. looks like it's just a little bar where you can get some adult beverages. How cute. And then if you go past that, it looks like back here is going to be their little like diner area. I'm not sure what all they offer. Apparently it is called the Pier 8 Market. So just like the Coke freestyle cups at the actual parks, a lot of the resorts are starting to have something similar. Now, unfortunately, the freestyle cup that works at the parks doesn't work at the hotels, but they do have their own little cups like this where you can purchase them and then use those refillable drink stations over and over again. So over here at the Pier 8 market, it looks like they have some like grab and go type stuff and then sort of like cafeteria style food like you can get like places like chicken and pizza things like that yeah they had like chicken and waffles they had fried chicken by itself they yeah. had pizza pasta burgers salad yeah, yeah cold and hot sandwiches they had wraps they also had a dessert station that looked pretty yeah, good some soft serve ice cream Ooh, i'm not gonna lie i thought about getting that soft serve but they didn't have cones so i went ahead and passed so regardless of if you're wanting just a grab and go snack or a full-blown meal they have everything to suit your needs I also wanted to mention about the freestyle machines. If you do have one of those freestyle cups from the parks or any cup for that matter, you can still get water at these stations down here. So although you can't get any kind of other drink, you can get water for free. 
When you check into any of the Universal Resorts, they give you a map of the resort to help you find your way around. And I just grabbed one and was looking at it and found something that we weren't aware that they had, and that's because we've never needed it before. But you actually can rent a car here. They have a separate desk that's dedicated to that. So if you get here and decide you need a car, you can do that. So over here at Dogside, they do have two towers and both towers have their own pool. Since we are currently going to be staying in tower one, we're gonna check out that pool. I would assume that both pools are pretty similar. If they're not, let us know in the comments below. The fitness center is also the same direction. So we'll show you that while we're down there as well. Oh look, they also have ATMs in case you max out your credit card buying butter beer. To get to both towers at Dockside, you do have to go outside. And we have had some lightning in the last little bit, but it looks like the pool is back open. So we're gonna go show you that now. And I did notice one big difference between the two pools here, and that's that this pool at Tower One has a splash pad for kids, while the other pool doesn't. Now, they both do have a bar. They have separate names, but they're both just alcohol. They don't have any food. I'm sure you could get other types of drinks as well, but there isn't any food at either of these, and I would assume that they serve basically the exact same drinks. Another cool thing we saw is that on most of the chairs, it looks like some of them have lost them. They have a little tag with a QR code and it says that you can scan the QR code and order your drinks at this bar and it'll bring it to you. The code actually says food and drink, but I did double check with the bartender and they just have drinks here and there is not any food. This actually looks like a fun little pool. I mean, it's not huge. It's not a massive pool but it looks like there's tons of seating. Like, it's a busy time of the year right now, and there's plenty of open seats. It may be because of the rain, but who knows? <laughs> also, there is an entire other pool at this resort, yeah. so I feel like they're never gonna get just insanely busy. So I think we've seen as much as we can see without getting into a <laughs> bathing suit at this pool, so we're gonna go grab our luggage and check into that hotel room and show you around. Actually, before we go get our luggage, um, sort of like we do at home, we forgot about the gym, and so we are gonna go check that out. So I'll be honest, like we were kind of shocked when we got in there. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Yeah, absolutely. There were some people in there, so we didn't really want to bother them, but they do yeah, have that, plenty of- that was, that was the thing. We didn't want to bother them. <laughs> they do have plenty of cardio machines. They also had some dumbbells and kettlebells. So it's a pretty well equipped fitness center and their hours are from 5 a.m. until 10 p.m. I do have a slight concern. Why are there so many cardio machines when all you do is walk here? <laughs> But as you walk into the lobby, that is where you'll find that luggage service that we were talking about. So we're gonna go grab our bags and head on up to the room. So um, <laughs> we're just here for one day. Do you think we packed enough? <laughs> so when you first walk in, there is this mirror here. We just have a standard two queen room, luggage. <laughs> and let's see, here is the bathroom. Ooh. There I am. <laughs> This is always the fun part where you just like walk and see a mirror and you just wave at it. <laughs> and every time I see a mirror, I'm just gonna wave at it. Hey guys, here. Uh, there's no light on in here. Let me turn it on. Oh, oh. look at that. <laughs> so here is the little, this looks like it might be a little tight. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. Also for families, uh, there isn't a bathtub. Oh, and I could yeah. potentially see that being an issue as well. But yeah, this is like pretty standard amenities for these hotels. Um, like some of the other hotels do have a little bit nicer amenities, like maybe bigger TVs. I don't see a, is that a refrigerator right there? Do they? Yeah, it has a refrigerator. So they've all got refrigerators. Uh, like we don't spend a lot of time in the room. So we really don't, we don't care what the amenities are. We're just here to sleep. And here is our view from the pool. This is actually the sixth floor or whatever. So yeah, not a bad view. And then there's like a, a body of water over there. I don't know what that is. 
So I did want to point out about the bed sheet. It is extremely thin and there's a small blanket and a sheet under that, but it's not very much. And the only reason I know to talk about this is because we did stay at Surfside last night. They didn't have rooms available for our entire stay. So we did have to hop hotels, but their amenities are virtually the exact same. The room looked exactly the same, except the branding right here on this part was a little bit different, but they had the same little comforter thing and it was not very warm. But thankfully they do have an extra blanket right up here like most hotel rooms do. So we grabbed that last night and I'm gonna guess we're probably gonna use that again tonight just to stay warm. And then they also have your standard ironing board and hangers. There's also a safe in here. Oh. So if you wanna use that, you can. You know the rules. This is why we need a blanket. You have to turn it to 65. So another thing that we did want to know is that they do have guest laundry services on select floors. So if you're somebody that wants to only bring a certain amount of clothes and then do laundry and rewear clothes, or I had a friend tell me one time that she does her laundry during her trip. So then when she gets home, all she has to do is put the clothes up, which seems brilliant and crazy at the same time. But if you're that type of person, you can do that here at Dockside. When we first walked in, we flipped on the light switch and nothing happened, like no lights came on and we were a little confused and then we realized that, hey, it's got one of those things that you have to put your key card in to turn on the lights, whether you like that or not, it, whatever. But yeah, you t if you come in and the lights don't work, it's not, there's not something wrong with the room. You just have to put your key card in this little slot. But once the key card is in there and you flip the lights on, you can take it out and then the lights stay on. But if you turn the lights off, oh, they're turning on now. Who knows? I don't know. It didn't work at first. <laughs> so we just read on the little device that it says removing the card will turn the power off, but that doesn't happen. So I'm not sure it's functioning 100% correctly, but that's how it's supposed to work. So I might have to take back that thing that I said about the lights working <laughs> properly. It might be broke. It's broke. All in all, what do you think about the resort? I think it's a great option. Yeah. It definitely doesn't have the same amenities of some of the higher priced hotels. And it shouldn't. Yes, exactly. It makes sense, but it has a great pool. Some of the food that was coming out of that diner looked and smelled really, really good. Yeah. The rooms are absolutely fine. Yeah. We, like we said, we stayed at Surfside last night and the beds were fine. The pillows were fine. Nothing stood out, but it is absolutely a clean, nice hotel. Like we said earlier, this is the most affordable resort that they offer. And we love that Universal offers so many different resorts in like different price ranges. Yeah. And of course, if you pay more, you're going to probably get better amenities or things of that nature. But there is absolutely nothing wrong with the dockside or the surfside resorts. We like we stay here pretty often because they are everything that we need and more. I know we've talked about this several times, but as far as like other hotels in the area, we have found that these two resorts are pretty comparable. I mean, during spring break and things like that, they get a little high because yeah. the rooms start filling up. But as far as like most times of the year, these are competitive, like competitively priced versus all the other hotels that are as close as these are to the parks. Yeah, and I feel like the amenities are very similar to just like your typical hotel. Yeah. They've got nice beds, it's very, very clean, everything is brand new and the paint is fresh, so it's a really great option. But with that, we are going to end today's video. Leave us a comment in the comment section and tell us which hotel you would like us to review next. If you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up, you can hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you get an alert every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>